Hello, and welcome to this YouTube video on Systems Analysis and Design in a Changing World. In this video, we will be discussing Part 2 of the book, which covers the first three phases of the Systems Development Lifecycle SDLC, Planning, Analysis, and Design. The planning phase of the SDLC involves defining the scope and objectives of the system, as well as identifying the stakeholders and constraints that will affect the design process. The authors discuss techniques for conducting feasibility studies, developing project schedules and budgets, and identifying the risks associated with the project. The analysis phase of the SDLC involves gathering and analyzing information about the requirements of the system. The authors discuss techniques for eliciting requirements from stakeholders, such as interviews, surveys, and observations, as well as for modeling data and processes using techniques such as entity relationship diagrams and data flow diagrams. The design phase of the SDLC involves developing a detailed plan for implementing the system, including the selection of hardware and software components, the design of user interfaces, and the development of detailed specifications for the system. The authors discuss the importance of designing for usability, reliability, and scalability, as well as techniques for evaluating and selecting hardware and software components. That concludes our overview of Part 2 of Systems Analysis and Design in a Changing World. We hope this video has provided you with a useful introduction to the planning, analysis, and design phases of the SDLC. Stay tuned for our next video, which will cover Part 3, Implementation and Maintenance. Thank you for watching.